Well, after a woman's husband and father-in-law are murdered, she is culturally obligated to marry her brother-in-law. That's the premise for Isbopo Mzansi Wechu's exciting new and intriguing drama, which premieres later on this evening. Joining us now to tell us more and what we can expect and anticipate as actors as Zetu Jomo and Estero Jamini. A warm welcome to both our guests for joining us this morning. Thank, thank you so you, much for coming you. on the Weekend Report. Uh, yeah, well, Zetu, talk to us about <coughs> Isbopo. I mean, we just introed for yeah. our viewers what the you know, the premise is about, but can you give us any sort of spoiler-free <laughs> <laughs> summaries of what they can expect? Yeah. Wow, uh, Ismopo is just, um, it's centralized around um, the Mutlum family and the drama, <laughs> the evil that happens in that home. And it, it, it really brings up themes of like betrayal and stuff like interesting stuff like murder and I mean it's 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 a new fresh kind of story I feel I haven't seen anything like yeah. it on my screen from yeah. South Africa Absolutely. so it's going to be really and exciting. you would agree with that still I mean you've yeah. been in the yes. acting business for a very long time yes, so for yes. you to say that you haven't come across a script like this in a long time says something well inheritance is a very big problem in our society I mean when it's time to obviously split Mm. The inheritance, there becomes animosity, there's fights, misunderstandings, and obviously to get to that decision to say, who takes what? Mm. A lot of lives are lost. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, but a beautiful story. Yeah. 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 You know, over the years, there's been so much conversation around what kind of stories we want to tell, South African stories, local stories we want to tell, we want to put on our screens, we want to expose our viewers and our audiences to. Um, there to tell us what is different about Isibopo, what is this particular family drama bringing that other countless family dramas haven't brought before? Well, that is a very tricky question because, I mean, at the end of the day, we are artists, we mirror life. So you will see similar things, you mm. will see similar storylines. It's, it's the usual, but... It, what I really feel like we came with here is a great storyline with amazing plot twists and then great performance. Mm. You know, I'm not saying that the other shows don't have great performers. What I mean is that in this particular one, we just it, it just married very nicely with performance and story coming together mm. to do something amazing. And I mean, it's not rare, but it. It's, a, it's nice to experience that, you know what I mean, in this industry. You can't actually honestly say one story is better or different mm -hmm. than another. Yeah, that, that's, that's just life, you yeah. know. Yeah. But yeah. otherwise, I think Isubofo did something really new and fresh in terms of what's the entertain what's the what's the catch value like what are, what are we what are we watching yeah you know what i mean so i mean people and i mean you know death is 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 a, is a common occurrence it's a reality that we yeah. all will have to come face to face with at some point in our lives mm -hmm. and you touched on the fact that when estates are being you know dissolved there's a lot of family contention and conflict but the angle for isabopo is a cultural one the lens is a cultural mm -hmm. lens i mean stella talk to us about what you're hoping south african viewers can take away from that uh, I mean is it is it education and entertainment at the same time where we're trying to you know bring people in show them how it's done culturally take away some of the ignorance that there may be out there yes I think uh, first and foremost it is a, an educational show uh, uh, primarily for the black communities mm -hmm. I mean you drive around so it or you see walls written not for sales because probably someone is trying to buy that house mm. and one of the family members is disagreeing because they are well standing whereas the other one wants a buck or two from that house mm. so you there's there's so much to learn from that and and just having to come together and resolve certain matters within a family mm. rather than let it letting it go a wall mm. and everyone gets to lose in return you know yeah. yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah. it's also exploring the intricate relationships, like the people within those situations, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? We also look at their feelings, like, like, like Skoloza, uh, Stelo's character, <laughs> he's a tough guy. But there are moments when you now have to bring out the marshmallow mm. and, and, and make me, the audience member or the watcher or, you know, the viewer, go, I care for you even though I disagree with you. Mm. And there's those yeah. beautiful, intricate moments. So, yeah. And how much are you drawing from personal experiences? You know, because <laughs> you talked about how it's, 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 it's you know, art sometimes 
imitates life. Right. It's mirroring life. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming, making a safe assumption, I hope, that there is some life experience that you're right. drawing from, and, and that's helping you build on the character and sure. deliver the character as sure. you do. Definitely. I mean, um, <laughs> there's, a, there's a teacher of mine who once said that it's either a person could drown in the Indian Ocean or could drown in a, like, a, a swimming yeah. pool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But either way, they are just as dead. So I don't have to have experienced the gang rape, for example, something hectic. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. To to know what it feels like to have a heart broke, like, like my heart broken, or to feel some level of pain. Trauma and is trauma. You, trauma mm. is trauma. Mm. And it's, you, we should, like so even if you're saying, am I drawing from my own experience? My husband's alive. I don't have children. You know. mm. <laughs> There's so many things different between me and times, you know. Yeah. Um, but. You can draw from, I, she, she believes the best in people. She wants to believe the best, even in Skoloza, even though she disagrees, she's, she's humble. She'll do what you ask her to do, even if she doesn't want to. So those are the similarities you can draw. But sometimes the character's experiencing something so <laughs> far away from you that you now need to work with what you understand. But at the end of the day, we're all human. Mm -hmm. We all experience the same emotions. And yeah, we just tap within ourselves, but also we mirror what mm. society is giving itself, I guess. Yes, yeah. and you start off. Well, you draw much from the community as well. Things mm. we've heard, stories we've come across, you know, um, uh, from distant cousins, families, mm. but pers uh, not personally per se, you know, where I'll say I've experienced inheritance split where everything just, you know, broke out of control, but we are able to just take a little bit from there, a little bit from there, put it together and deliver. Yeah. You know? I'm curious about your, your character, uh, Zeta, because you mentioned in, in describing her that there are elements of her that is submissive. She's obviously a woman who, you know, respects and uh, holds her, her culture in high esteem. Yes. South Africa, contemporary South Africa, is mm -hmm. increasingly becoming a society that is not patriarchal, that is trying to break barriers, mm -hmm. that is trying to forge new paths for women. Yeah. Um, does the character Tandi, you know, struggle in that area as well? Coming to terms with the culture that she loves, but in many ways a culture that perhaps also holds her back. I, I feel like, um, well, yes, she loves her culture, um, but also she loves her family. Mm. That's what makes her stay. That's what makes her make the decisions that she decides to do, even if it goes against her. It's got nothing to do with culture for her. If anything, she's shook that we are doing this, this umgen or thing. How, mm. how, when did we get here? Mm. But what she does is she loves her family. And she was, um, she was orphaned as a baby. So she's always had those I'm alone kind of feelings, I would assume. Because we never see her growing up. We just see her married, you know. But the fact is, she lost her parents at a young age. She, got, she grew up with her aunt, you know, Mumalume, and then met the husband who brings her into this family. You see what I mean? So now she loves her people. She'll do anything, mm -hmm. even if she disagrees with it. But then also she's not a fool. <laughs> and you'll know. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, the custom speaks to an issue that a lot of, you know, women face, you know, mm -hmm. when they lose their husbands who have perhaps been the, 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 the primary caretaker. What yeah. happens next? What happens to the children? And culture, you know, has come up with a way of taking care of that. And yeah. I think sometimes that gets lost yeah. in sort of the contemporary sure. lives that we're trying to lead. Culture has a lot of answer uh, to problems that we may face. Um, so so the, the show premieres this evening at 9 p.m. I mean, what can our audiences expect? What are you hoping that our audiences get from tuning in tonight? tonight? Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, they need to expect all sorts. I mean, um, all energies have been put into this. I mean, mm. you've got the lows, the I heard highs. you shot in four weeks. Yes. Yes, wow. yes, 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 yes. <laughs> So there's, there's so much to, to, to expect from the show. It's, it was a beautiful show. I mean, you're going to go through the high the low emotional roller coasters mm. and obviously just getting to understand how certain black families live and what they've gone through to mm. be where they are today. Right. Yeah. I sincerely hope that the audiences at home also engage in dialogue about the themes and the topics that come through like Umgeno. I mean, it is a cultural thing, mm. but at the end of the day, if you take something beautiful like culture and then you use it in a negative way, you know what I mean? Then are we still doing the cultural thing or are we doing our own things for selfish gain? There's a lot to discuss, so I hope people enjoy yeah. it. All right. Well, thank you so much to both of our guests for thank joining you. us in yeah, studio to you. talk to us about this new show, Isbopo, uh, that is actors Zetu Lomo and Estelo Jamini.